Olive has an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family are running, pecking and laying eggs, Olive can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down, into the sand. Brothers and head over a couple towns to Westbrook with Mass Landing's Pantless Thunder Goose. It's a double IPA with Eldorado, Topaz, and Mosaic Hops checking in at 8.3%. And this is batch 10 canned on 41522. I just like the name of the beer. Yeah, so I first heard the name and I'm like, what is that? But Pantless Thunder Goose apparently is an ostrich. So I don't think the can itself is very appealing, but the name is. Do you like that name? I do. All right, let's pour it into the glass. It's got a nice color. I tend to like mass landing beers anyways, so... You are a huge fan of Gunner's Daughter. Yes, Which I we will am. review at some point. <clears throat> so this is our, really our first mass landing review. We did the, the collaboration, but that was actually an Orno beer. Mm -hmm. The Whoopie Pie Stout. So, this one is... Even thicker and hazier than the, the Bissell Bros Swish. So this a little is darker what, too. This is what I think I remember the Swish looking more mm. like when I first started drinking it. Maybe. Yeah. It's got a nice head. Nice foamy head with a lot of tightly compacted bubbles. Looks yeah. like it might stick around for a while. Right. Usually that's a good indication good of a possibly a well-made beer. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh. I like the smell of that. Uh, pretty juicy tropical yeah i can't even beer. really tell you what i think i'm getting so many different fruits i i mean i get pineapple but i think you get that in almost every Getting like pineapple mango maybe some mangoes grapefruit a little bit papaya yeah. i don't get much grapefruit grapefruit usually is that more bitter smell and flavor i don't it is a juicy smelling beer yeah oh, you want to get a taste i do all right cheers cheers, cheers youtube cheers guys that's pretty juicy. A little bitterness in but there. I definitely get like the mango and papaya on the flavor, more so than the pineapple, I think. Yeah, tends to lean pretty tropical, I would say, on the fruits. Mm -hmm. Very good. Maybe it's me, almost like a chalkiness though in there. I don't know what that is. No, I don't get that. Probably just me. I will say though, I'm getting the fruitiness on the front end but on the back of my tongue i really get that those fruity bursts like those fruity flavors mm. it's really good oh so, no description on the can over on untap it says what's the abv on this 8.3 8.3 yeah it's fairly big apparently this is the winner of the 2022 world beer cup gold medal for imperial ipas so that's pretty impressive and their description is a goose on the loose. This bold, inviting character crops up from time to time to wow us with punchy tropical flavors yeah. and a juice, juicy full body, soft notes of mango, peach, and more luscious fruits. So I said it pops. I guess maybe punchy may have been the better word because that, I would agree with that. So apparently I've had this before back in 2019 at Mass Landing. You know, Mass Landing tends to have pretty solid beers. And I gave it a four and a half back then. Yeah. 5,000 people gave it a 4.09, and 14 of our friends gave it a 420 on Untapped. If you'd like to see what we're drinking and you follow us, uh, Best Beers and Me on Untapped, we do like to see what you guys are drinking out there and enjoying. Yeah, suggestions. I like I like to see what other people are drinking, then I might be, you know. So we I see a lot of on, like, Bangor beer lovers and things like that. People will post things, and someone will say, somebody might say, this is an amazing beer, like, so good. And somebody will say, where'd you get that? And they might say, like, Damon's. Yeah. So I'm going to seek that out. So 
actually on a lot of the beer groups I, I'm in on Facebook, I've seen a lot of people uh, posting this beer and, and giving it a big, big review. Yeah. Or a big, uh, that's what I'm up for. Hi, highly recommended by Highly rated. People. Not a bad beer at all. Good double mm -hmm. IPA. I think so. I just don't know what it is with double IPAs lately. They're just not, they're not hitting huge with me. Like I, they used to. I no, think I, just, I, I, th I think you're still in the loggers, the pilsners, like I think, and especially coming know, into summer. Maybe. But even this winter, that's what you were looking for. I should have been reviewing these three, four years ago. Yeah. Every beer I'd be like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a lot these days for an IPA to really blow me away. So drinking that today, I, I'd probably say <laughs> 425 is what I'd give it. I have to tell you, though, I was talking to five. someone today during my work day. But this person told me they've recently, since February, lost 42 or 47 pounds. And they said they went on the Weight Watchers diet. Mm -hmm. But he said one of the big things that he did was he gave up IPAs. And he said it still kills him to this day. They can't have an IPA. But he lost, like his numbers, his blood work and stuff, his numbers were way off because he'd put so much weight on it. He said, one of, other than the Weight Watchers, one of the big things that he did was give up the IPAs. Yeah, and he lost I like 47 that. pounds since February. But I haven't, I have honestly not been drinking all that much beer lately and I'm not losing weight. So I, and I've been trying to drink. I'm still drinking the beer. Healthy I've, smoothies and everything. I've else, lost 12 pounds. So there you go. Maybe I'm like Jared at Subway. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so there it is for Mass Landing. If you've had it, let us know. If you like Mass Landing. Whatever you want to talk about, down below, hit us up in the comments. Like, hit share, the bell, subscribe. Like, share, like, do all the things. There you go. And and suggestions. I, I'm really, I, I like the suggestions. Something different to try, something to seek out, something to look for. I like to hear any comments at all. Me good, too. bad, or good, bad, <laughs> good, bad, and ugly. So, <laughs> we're out of here on this one. Good beer from Mass Landing. Seek them out. Mass Landing makes a lot of good IPAs yes. and a lot of good sours and. So the gunner's I mean, daughter, I, I, I had always, I had said from the beginning, I, I'll, so I'll, I, I do like your IPAs, I guess, which I didn't think I liked beer, but don't ask me to drink the dark ones until I had the gunner's daughter. So if you've never had a gunner's daughter from Mass Landing, you should definitely try it. Yeah, and if you like IPAs and you like <laughs> tropical, juicy IPAs, look that, seek that one out. Pantless Thunder Goose. Yeah, very good, very juicy. Mass Landing in Westbrook, Maine. All right. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.